So you finally decided to throw away your Fire Stick or your Fire TV. Maybe you're just fed up of all of these big adverts, all of these sponsored applications, all of those useless updates, and you've now decided to move over to the Android TV ecosystem. And you're wondering what's the easiest and fastest way to fully load your device. Well, step one is to enable some developer options. Step two is to install a custom application store, which has the applications for your movies, TV shows, live TV, pay-per-view sports, all of that can be accessed through those applications. And step three is the final process is just to give some permissions so you can actually install those applications through that custom application store. Now to start the process, I'm doing my demonstration on the new Google Streamer 4K, but you can follow the same process on any other Android TV device. Now step one, let's go over to the settings. Let's click on that. Let's click on all settings. Let's go down into system. Let's go over to where it says about. And finally, let's scroll down to where it says build. And here we want to press the select button seven times. And this will basically enable some hidden developer options. So let's do that now. One, two, three, four. And you see the prompt there. Five, six, seven. It says you are now a developer. Once you've done that, let's now press back. Back again. And we're now going to open up the application store. So I can just use my voice and say, open Play Store. And from the Play Store, we're going to download an application called Downloader, which is a great application. It's a built-in browser, but it also allows you to download application files, which you can then install on your device. Now you can go over to the search. And it says type in Downloader. And we see as soon as you press D, it comes up. It just shows you how popular the application is. Let's click on that. And let's click on Install. Let's give that a second. That's now done. Let's now click on open. And this application here, you can enter in your standard URLs, but you can also enter in short codes or quick codes, which will quickly allow you to access different pages on the internet without typing in a long URL. Now I've created a custom short code, which will take you to a direct place on my website, which will have the latest version of this custom application store. And because this is a dynamic link, it doesn't matter if you're watching this video in May 2025 or December 2026, this shortcode will always take you to the latest version of that store. And that shortcode is just 2190877. Let's type that in and click on go. And this will take you directly to my website. Here we are, so ultimate Android TV jailbreak guide. Got the step-by-step -step instructions here, exactly how to enable those developer options. Keep scrolling down and you're looking for the single link here. Let's click on that now. I can now scroll down and you're always looking for this green download button. Let's click on that now. Now this is the first thing you have to give permission for. So this is basically saying that Downloader needs to have permission so you can install applications through it. So I can now click on the settings and where it says Downloader not allowed, I'm going to press the select button there. And that basically means that you now have permission to install applications through it. And straight away we get the prompt asking, do you want to install this custom application store? We'll also have to give the same permission to this custom application store because we're also going to download applications through that store. Let's click on install. Give that a second. That's now done. I can now click on open. Now, before we continue, let me just quickly share this QR code that if you are looking for a fantastic offer for a ridiculously fast VPN, stay safe online, change your IP address, access geo-locked content, protect your privacy, you definitely want to go ahead and scan this QR code for a superb discount. Now, before we assign the permission to this custom application store, we have to firstly download something through it. Now, as you can appreciate, streaming laws are different in every country. What may be suitable for your country may not be suitable for me, and especially may not be suitable to show on YouTube. This is why I'm not going to go through all of the different categories in here, because certain content may not be suitable for your country and definitely may not be suitable for YouTube. But trust me when I say all of the applications you're looking for can all be found in these different sections here. But for a quick test, let's go to new updates. Let's say I want to install the new version of AM Player. I can click on download there. I can now give the permission. Let's click on allow. That now starts downloading. And I'm hoping we should once again see that prompt again. So again, we need to assign the permission to this custom application store so we can once again install applications through it. So let's again click on settings. 
And let's now also give the permission at the top. As soon as I do this, I should then get the prompt asking me, do you want to install the AM player? Let's do that now. Let's click on select. And there we have it. So do you want to install the AM player? Let's click on install. Takes a few seconds. Now this is also very important. Now on the newer devices, you have something called Play Protect, which will always give you a prompt like this saying, because this application is not directly from the Google Play Store, it believes that this application is not safe. Even though you know the application is completely safe, what can you do? Well, the quick option is just to go here and click on where it says more details. Let's click on that. I have the option now to click on install anyway, but I will show you in just a second how you can also completely turn off this Play Protect. But for now, let's click on install anyway. Give that a second. And that's how easy it is to sideload or fully load or jailbreak your Android TV and install any application outside the official Google Play Store. I can even click on open just to demonstrate it's working absolutely fine. Click on allow. And we're now using the new AM player. Let's press the home key. Let's say you want to turn off Play Protect because you're not really concerned about this over cautious protection from Google. Well, I can go over to the settings, click on all settings, go down to where it says apps. Let's go over to the right, scroll down. And we now have security. Let's click on that. And here you can basically turn off Play Protect. And this basically means that you can now go ahead and install any application. And it's not going to prompt you saying this application is not safe or this application is not from the Play Store. And you can go ahead and install any application that you like. If you don't want to do that, if you are a bit worried, then you can, of course, leave this on, but then manually click on install anyway when you see that prompt again. The only thing I would suggest that if you are going to be installing third party applications to access certain content from certain locations, it is always advisable to use a VPN. The main benefit of the VPN is you can change your virtual location and you can also use a different IP address, which is like your online fingerprint identity. Using a different IP address means you can then unlock different content from all over the world and really just stay safe online. Right now, there's actually a really special offer just for the next two weeks where you can get total protection for all of your devices, all of your applications, your add-ons, your APKs, your streaming apps. All of them can be covered with the VPN and they also give you unlimited connections. What that means is it doesn't matter if you've got three Fire Sticks, 10 Android TVs, two laptops, all of those devices, unlimited devices, will be covered with a single license. You get blazing fast speeds, so zero buffering, and they also have a verified no logs policy. So they're not logging anything. They're not monitoring anything. You really can stay anonymous whilst using this VPN. You can access all of your favorite applications, your Netflixes, your BBC iPlayers, your Hulus. All of your streaming applications can be unlocked by using this VPN. And to get all of that for just over $2 a month, I do think this special offer is definitely worthwhile checking out. Using my link does help support the channel. So many thanks for doing that. Do have a look in the video description and pinned comment if you want to take up this special offer. So really appreciate your support. Do like and share this video and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.